What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome back today to another brand new Team of the Season player review and this time we are going to be taking a look at the 87 rated, incredibly, incredibly well rounded Morgan Sanson been playing his trade in Marseille in Ligue 1 and he has been performing apparently consistently well so if you do enjoy this player review be sure to leave a big thumbs up on it if you can get over 50 likes it would be amazing and don't forget as well if you're new to the channel subscribe click that button down below but we're going to kick off this review now with the basic information and for Sanson he's standing at 5 foot and 11 inches tall he's got high to medium work rates 3 star skill moves and a 4 star weak foot looking at his top 5 and in game stats sorry his top 5 and base card stats I've already mentioned he's an 87 rated card he actually ships as a CDM but with his, his high to medium work rates and attacking favourite attacking favourite stats I personally wouldn't play him there but base card wise you're looking at 82 pace 90 dribbling 85 shooting, 88 passing, 87 physical and 86 defending. So very, very well rounded in his top 5 in games. 93 ball control, 93 stand tackle, 93 vision, 92 shot power and 91 reaction. So definitely got the stats to be able to play that CDM role. But like I said, because of the high medium work rates, I personally would not play him there. Also comes with a couple of tracks and specialities. Those are the finesse shot, flair and the technical dribbler. Looking at the team that we used to me, you can see that on the screen now. He played in that camp position. I converted into a camp, but I do think he could also do a job as a box-to-box -box central midfielder. And in the five games that we played with this guy, he came away with six goals and two assists. So not a bad return whatsoever. And as we start to roll some of the clips in action now, I'm going to start off by saying Sanson is a very, very well-rounded card. I've already mentioned his stats are incredibly well-rounded and... You can really feel that when you're using him in game, he feels very poised. He's got great dribbling on him, and at the same time, he also you can you can feel that he can play in that CDM role. All his stats are good in that position because he feels very very strong. Really, I've only got a couple of negatives for him. The first one. The fact that he hasn't got four star skill moves, like so, if you were playing him at CDM, obviously that, that wouldn't be too much of an issue. But at a cam where I used him, not having that four star skill moves was a little bit of a shame. Of course, the fact that he ships as a CDM out of packs is a bit of a pity. Personally, I wouldn't play him there. And also, his pace, his sprint speed didn't feel too bad because when he gets going, he does feel strong on the ball. But that initial burst of acceleration is a little bit lacking. But talking positives, his shot power and long shots in general are absolutely awesome, whether it's a finesse or just a general absolute blaster Sanson has got it whether it's right foot left foot his shooting is absolutely sensational ball control I've already mentioned is absolutely absolutely fantastic and when you combine the fact that he is strong that he is decently quick, decently quick when he gets going sorry and the fact that he's got fantastic ball control dribbling all that stuff he is fantastic at carrying the ball picking it up from deep and just charging through the middle of the park is really really good at that and then when he gets into that final third great long shot great passing as well he really really is fantastic in that final third which is another reason why I personally wouldn't play him in that CDM position but overall we're going to be giving Sanson an 8.8 out of 10 we've just gone over the positives and negatives the main things that stand out to me dribbling and ball control are absolutely fantastic and when he gets in and around the box got a great finish great shot on him on both feet and currently on Xbox he's going for around 100,000 coins which um, isn't cheap but for the car that you're getting isn't too bad either in my opinion that is going to round up the player review if you did enjoy it like I said at the start leave a big thumbs up on it I'll speak to you all in the in the Road to Glory episode actually that will be at later on today so I hope to catch you all there lads enjoy the rest of your afternoon need you out Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching Vince and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating so don't.